1941, there was a, a pretty big fire here. Uh, it started in um, the farthest south of our, our reserve, which is a stinking lake, what they call stinking lake. And I think the fire, uh, what I heard, uh, um, there, people wasn't too sure about how it got started, but they think it's uh, lightning. And it just spread and uh, kept on, you know, it was a big fire. It took, uh, I don't know how much percentage of our uh, reserve, but it took a lot. Uh, and it burned for I don't know how long, but it was getting too close to the community. And we were told to evacuate. We were told to go, and the only way you can do that is to go by boat out, out the river. And I guess people were getting ready to evacuate at that time. And, uh, but I don't know what happened. I think maybe the rain came and, and uh, wind or something changed, and it stopped, stopped the rest of the river, which is a pretty good part of the reserve that burnt. And is that uh, when we used to go to get uh, groceries in the wintertime, we had to go by horse across Lake Nipsing through the, the uh, French River up to uh, what they call Wigwam, Wigwam Point and then straight across to Third Falls. <coughs> it was a tough trip at times. Uh, in the fall it would be pretty dangerous because was, the ice would just uh, you know, it's still pretty thin. We had to take chances, and, and uh, there, was, uh, there are times when the horses fell in. We, you know, they didn't have no. Uh, uh, it was hard to. Uh, uh, we we had to go out there, and we we just had to. Uh, there are some take chances, and uh, you know, sometimes the, like the horses would fall in, and uh, there was also when we went across the lake. It was at. Uh, there are times when it was really storm, storming. Uh, there's a pressure crack across Lake Nipsing, and it's still there yet today. You still get that pressure crack. And uh, there are some places where it's, uh, you got open water, and you got to look, go around, and, and find where you can cross. So that's what we used to do. And uh, on stormy days, if it was snowing and blowing, you couldn't see anything, but the horses knew how to get there. They just followed uh, our trails, or just their instinct. They'd go straight across, and they they don't they know their way up there. <laughs> so it was it was really something, you know. Like when you when I think about it now, think about think back of how the, how things were. It's really incredible how uh, you know animals would uh, you know. Did it, had a big part of of us, our, our reserve, and everybody. They really uh, helped us uh, in our lives. And then you see, there's a, a post out there on the on the left. Here. Yeah, yeah, and That's yeah. the channel that they used to go through with the horses, because in the main river here, there's lots of spots where the water was too fast. Yeah. And the ice was never it, you're never sure of it. No. Yeah, yeah. So you take the back channels where. There wasn't as much current, and yeah, yeah, you could yeah, get yeah. through without drowning your horses. The whole <laughs> island was all broken wow. about halfway up. They lost all their trees like that. Wow. Big, kind of a, a microburst, big, a I guess. Microburst? Yeah. Microburst, yeah. yeah. Just blew all the trees right off his mm -hmm. island. So he's got a nice island, but only the half no, trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. He's got a lot of firewood, I do.